Okay, what are we doing? Right, Birdie 39 channel, welcome. Right, we're starting this video in England, where I am now. Uh, in England, visiting family, and also, while I'm here, I bought these parts for the Bluebird. Uh, could searched all over the world, searched all over Japan, searched Russia, found them in England on uh, Breaker's Yard up the north of England. Only place I could find in the whole world for a set of rear struts for a U11 Bluebird. So this is all junk. Throw away the spring dampers. It's just a stub axle, the main body of this. I really need. And these, these bolts are hard enough to get off as they are when they're on the car. Uh, this off of the car and all rusted up is going to be impossible. So I'm taking these to a, a garage near here. I'll ask them to separate it all for me, and then all the rest can go to the bin. I'll just take back to Japan the stub axles. And the reason why I bought these is because I'm going to make my own set of coilovers. I really don't like, I really don't like those little sleeves you can put over and then sort of turn your normal struts into coilovers. I think they're such a bodge, and I think they're overpriced as well for what they are. So I'm going to actually make a proper set of coilovers. So that's what this video is going to be about. So when I get back to Japan, I'll show you what else I've got planned. Uh, put all the parts together. Get, do some welding, some fabricating, and we'll make a set of coilovers specific for the Bluebird. Anyway, see you in Japan. Okay, so where do I cut it? Just eyeballing it for now before I get some proper measurements. I reckon I've just been lining it up, eyeballing it, scratching some little lines. Remember, that's got to go in minimum amount, five centimeters, the diameter of that. So that's the maximum height you can have your damper raised. If you want to go lower, obviously that can be screwed down into it, but it'll screw down to where I've cut that tube off because that does not go inside that. It's going to sit on a little edge when that's cut off. So you need that in the minimum. You need it cut off there, but you can't just cut it off and join it on on the end. That has to slip over it. So it's got to be over a decent amount. Okay, be double sure. Double check, triple check before you start cutting stuff. Um, looking like I've got to cut through right where that is. Okay, so I've uh, got some rough ideas where things need to go. Let's start getting some proper measurements now. And come up with some definitive decisions. There's a little step at the bottom of there, so I need to cut it off there. There you go. Cut that off there. So cut these off, I'm going to be careful with those to file them flat and get rid of those burrs. There's that inside edge I was trying to avoid, look, I to come up a little bit from the bottom. Anyway, cut these off, to start getting some proper measurements. Okay, so check this out, a little bit of progress. I've uh, cut those off, obviously, and uh, the plan was that was going to get put over there, go down like 40, 50 mil, whatever I said I was going to do earlier on in the video, and then... Uh, be welded in position but that internal diameter is obviously bigger than that a bit too loose it's not going to sit there so i bought this copper sheet i was going to make a shim so that sits on there really really tight uh, at the right height but then i thought even if i do that i don't really like the idea of the whole weight of the car just sitting on a weld around there so what i'm doing is as i've got four of these tubes i bought the whole kit um i cut off the front ones as well they're a bit shorter for some reason anyway I cut them to, to measure, so I get them, get the top one sitting at the right height, bottom one fills up that space, so that's going to be much more safe. It's going to be welded together and then welded to the bottom as well. But they need to be welded together, it's got to be absolutely sure, it's got to be dead straight lined up. So they could just be both screwed onto a, a strut like that. Um, I'm prepared for a welder, so I'm not doing this myself, I'm prepared for a welder to say I'm not doing it on that because I uh, might not want to get that hot. Fair enough. If I don't want to do it, I've got a backup plan, plan B. Cut this bracket out. This is just like some rounded shapes from the hardware store. They were just about okay. When I bottom down tight, they stretch out to that curvature. So anyway, these work well. Uh, cut out that middle section so they can put this on, put the tubes together, tighten them together. That lines them up perfectly. Do a couple of welds there and there, and then take this bracket off, then go all the way around it. That's that sorted. And then, uh, as I mentioned about the copper shim, I found out, I realised the threaded section is uh, slightly 
narrower. That doesn't go over. It needs just quarter of a mil, so half a mil total. So it's quarter of a mil there uh, on both sides, or all the way around basically. And uh, that will slide over really tight. So I'm going to try and find some like wide, decent drill bit, big grinding wheel, and just grind it out nicely. And then if I can hammer that down, all the way down, nice and tight, that saves me making a shim. So that's cool. So that's going to work out nicely. So I put these together end to end. So I've got the shorter one's going to go down first. So the weld is it lined up with that tube, and then it's just sort of solid tube above it. So now I've cut, double checking my measurements again. That, I think I mentioned before, the width of that is the minimum you can raise it out of that tube. So don't raise it up more than like 50, 50 mil on these. It's probably gonna be the same on, on yours as well. Yeah, 50 mil really, it becomes unsafe if you start bringing it out that much. Anyway, so 50 mil, that's my minimum I can raise it. So that's the tallest my suspension can be. And my measurements were on my car, uh, my car sat at 50, just over 59 centimeters from there up to this point. So yeah, much higher. So my car right from the bottom to just there sat at, was a fifth, the ride height was 59.5 centimeters, 595 mil. So that's really high. That's gonna get me through the shack here, no problem. And then still be safe, still be safe because of that. I want to lower it. I can screw that right down into there. That doesn't go inside that, remember. So that's the maximum I can lower the body into it. And now my measurement is 61. So it's a little bit taller than what was on my car. But my new wheels are slightly smaller diameter. So the car is going to sit, the bottom of the car is going to sit a centimeter lower. So now on my lowest setting, which is also the safest, I like the idea of that hitting on that. Um, it's going to be uh, 61, it's going to sit at 60, which is only 5 mil above what my ride height was on my other car. And then, of course, I've still got all the spring adjustability as well, so I could lower that right down as well. Problem is, uh, you're taking away damper travel, but this is going to be rock hard, I can't imagine. It's going to be a problem taking out 10, 15, 20 mil even out of that. I, it won't be a problem at all. So anyway, yeah, measurements are all working out nicely. Just got to get the welding done and then we'll get them on the car. Okay, so that took me about half an hour, it's no five minute job. And it goes on, it's a bit looser than I would have liked, but that's just what happened. Um, the tool for the job, bought these off Amazon, that's a 25 by 50 mil, or whatever you get, or wherever you buy it from, 50 mil was just right. The drill attachment for going in there and grinding around. I marked four positions, just so I know when I'm rotating it and grinding it and sort of know what I've done, where I've done it. Looks like that inside. That's about right. Perhaps a bit less. That's a accidentally went a bit loose. It was too tight and then all of a sudden it was too loose. So anyway, when it's dropped right down, there's hardly any wobble, so it's not really a problem. Well, anyway, you saw it, it goes down. And when it is down, there's no wobble. So that's done. I'm just gonna get the paint off there and gonna remove that a bit better, clean it up. So when I, I've got to take it somewhere to get it welded. And uh, yeah, then that's, that's that complete, apart from a bit of tidying up and a bit of painting. That's basically the job. Ah! Right, so I got these back from welding. I just thought I'd capture them at this stage. I was about to start cleaning them up, getting the stickers off and stuff. Um, I'm just going to tidy them up to get them ready for painting. And uh, yeah, then they're ready to get put back on the car. So again, I cut my tube off there because I had to extend this tube and I didn't want that weld above where the solid part is inside so internal tube goes to about there um yeah welded to the bottom obviously and those tubes are welded together so that's good now so uh yeah tidy them up just one thing we'll say the welders the place i took it to they weren't really happy about welding to cast steel they said it's not great it ca can be more brittle so i said okay thank you for the warning <laughs> i'll keep an eye on them i'm sure it's gonna be all right uh but yeah, something to bear in mind, some welders might even refuse to do it if you're doing this job yourself. But yeah, I will, I will be the guinea pig and test out my car and see 
and see how it lasts. Anyway, I'm gonna, I won't bother filming it. I'm gonna tidy them up, paint them. And the next time you'll see me is getting ready to put them back on the car. Okay, so it's on the car. Looking good. Sweating my balls off because it's very hot out. I think the height it's set at, uh, I can't remember now, it was either like 5 mil higher or 5 mil lower than what it was. That's what I'm expecting. If my measurements are correct. Anyway, I'll get this on and then lower it. We'll have a look. Alright, so on the ground and it is sitting a solid 20 mil higher than I expected. I think I think what happened was I took measurements with the the whole strut assembly off the car and I forgot to consider the compression of the spring so the whole thing would have been a little bit shorter when it's on the car about two centimeters is believable even with those cut springs that are really hard kind of makes sense to me so anyway watch out for that if you're doing measurements doing this job yourself but uh yeah i've got height adjustable suspension now so <laughs> just a little bit more work i'll set the height how i how i want it and uh yeah good to go so it works but if you're doing this yourself uh not ideal chopping and welding and fabricating your own parts for your car ideally just buy what has been designed and manufactured professionally especially specifically for your car uh, that's the safest way to proceed but it's also the most expensive way so i guess what's kind of fun is finding cheeky ways to get what you want without spending a ton of money on one of them or or in my case uh, creating suspension doesn't actually exist so you've got to do what you got to do to get what you want anyway there you go thanks for watching